In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the x and y intercepts. So let's say we have 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. What can we do to find the x and y intercepts of this equation? Let's start with the x intercept. To find the x intercept, you need to replace y with 0. So this is going to be 3x plus 4 times 0, which equals 12. 4 times 0 is 0. And 3x plus 0 is just 3x. Now, you need to calculate the value of x. So the next thing we need to do is divide both sides by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And so we get our answer. So the x-intercept is x equals 4. If you want to write it as an ordered pair, x is 4, y is 0. Now, in order to find the y-intercept, we need to replace x with 0 and solve for y. So it's going to be 3 times 0 plus 4y is equal to 12. 4y plus 0 is just 4y. Now, to get y by itself, we need to divide both sides by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And so we get our answer. The y-intercept is y is equal to 3. So to write your answer, or our answer rather, as an ordered pair, we saw that x was 0, y was 3. So this is the y-intercept, and this is the x-intercept. So that's how you could find the x and y-intercept of an equation. Consider the graph that we have. How would you find the x and y-intercept of the line shown on the graph. So the x-intercept is where the line touches the x-axis. The y-intercept is where the line touches the y-axis. So it touches the x-axis at x equals 2. So that's the x-intercept. We can write that as 2 comma 0. And it touches the y-axis at negative 3. So the y-intercept is negative 3 or as an ordered pair, 0, negative 3. So that's how you can find the x and y intercepts from a graph. Try this example. Go ahead and find the x and y intercepts of this graph. So the x intercepts occur when the graph touches the x axis. So keep in mind, the horizontal axis is the x axis, the vertical axis is the y axis. So the first x intercept occurs at positive 2. The second one, we see that the curve touches the x-axis at negative 2. So we have one at positive 2 with the ordered pair 2, 0, and the second x-intercept at negative 2 with the ordered pair negative 2, 0. Now what about the y-intercept? We can see that the graph touches the y-axis at the point negative 4. So the y-intercept is y is equal to negative 4, or we could say 0, negative 4. So now you know how to find the x and y-intercepts from a graph. Now what about finding the x and y-intercepts of a function? Let's say we have a quadratic function, x squared minus 8x plus 12. Go ahead and find the x and y-intercepts of this function. Now you need to know that y is equal to f of x. So if you want to, you could replace f of x with this. Now let's begin finding the y-intercept by plugging in 0 into x. So this is going to be y equals 0 squared minus 8 times 0 plus 12. So thus the y-intercept is simply 12. So we can write this as 0 comma 12. So that's it for the y-intercept. Now to get the x-intercept, we need to replace y with 0. So we're going to have 0 is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 12. So at this point, we have a quadratic equation. To solve for x, we can factor or use the quadratic formula. Let's factor. We need to find two numbers that multiply to 12 but add to negative 8. 
We know 6 times 2 is 12, but adds up to positive 8. But if we use negative 6 and negative 2, that will add up to negative 8. So to factor it, it's going to be x minus 6 times x minus 2. Using the zero product property, if you set x minus 6 equal to 0 and solve for x, you'll get x equals 6. If you set x minus 2 equal to 0 and solve for x, you'll get x equals 2. So we have two x-intercepts, 6 comma 0 and 2 comma 0. So that's how you could find the x and y-intercepts of a quadratic equation.